In this video, I'll show you how to upgrade your text-to-speech from this to this using the Piper Text-to-Speech SDK. This sounds far more natural and there are a variety of voices to try. Like this one, a Southern UK female voice. G'day guys, welcome back to another video. I did a video a couple of weeks ago about how to use two-way speech. So on the robot I could say, hey R2, and then it will start listening. It'll transcribe whatever I'm saying, pass that through a local language model, and then whatever response it gets back, it will then play that back to me. But as you just heard from the initial speaking going on there, it sounds very robotic, almost Stephen Hawking-like. And that's because it uses the standard PYTTS library, and that is, yeah, very robotic. So I spent a couple of weeks trying to figure out a better way of, of doing that to make it sound a little bit more human. And as you saw from those two voices at the end, it does sound very, very lifelike. So in this video, I'm going to take you through how I did that. We'll look at it on the Mac first, and then I'll show you how that works on a Ubuntu or a Raspberry Pi. So the tool that I found to do this is something called Piper. Piper is part of the Open Home Foundation, so if you use Home Assistant, then chances are you might have come in contact with Piper already, but you can use it in a standalone manner as well, and that's exactly what we're doing here. So if you head over to their GitHub, you can see all the samples, demos, and different ways of being able to use this. But this page here on their github.io is pretty good because it allows you to pick your language. You can use either um, Great Britain or US for English and then you get a set of voices. So if you were to go to the US, then you would get a different set of voices. Um, but I prefer using the British ones. Um, and then you can just play them here. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon. That and then you can pick another one. So maybe we'll go Northern. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon that is called. And we'll go Southern because I'm from Southern England. So that's my favorite. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon that is caused by reflect. Anyway, you can go through those and pick one that you like. Um, the next thing you need to do is decide what quality you want. Now, I'm using low, and that sounds perfectly fine on my Mac. I don't have any problems with that. And that also works pretty well on the Raspberry Pi. So I haven't needed to go to X low. Um, low seems to work fine for me. And once you've decided on your qualities, you need to go and download the voice files. Now, these come in Onyx extension, so .onnx. And you'll see a link up here that will take you over to Hugging Face. Um, yeah, and just grab the onyx and the onyx.json file and just save those into your local directory where you're going to run the code. Okay, let me show you how easy this is to get done then. So starting with the requirements file, you won't need PYTTS. This is just me putting both of them into the same demo, but you will need Piper TTS and sound device. Jump on over to the main.py. I'll put a link for all this down below so you can read that in your own time. But some interesting things to point out is we have a convenience method to play a target file name, and that's just us passing in a .wav file and asking it to play it. Some stuff in here around PYTTS, which you don't need. But this is the bit we're interested in. So it's pretty simple. It's only a handful of lines. So what you do is you go to Piper Voice and you load the particular voice model that we looked at earlier. So this is where you pass it the Onyx file. Just make sure when you're doing this that you get the casing right, because if you notice here, the US one is lowercase with dashes, and the British one is underscores and uppercase. I don't know why. Just, just don't let it catch you out. Then we need to give it a name for a WAV file. This can be anything you want. And then we open that WAV file in a write mode, and we ask the voice to synthesize to the WAV this text. So that's where you put your text in. That will save it to a WAV file. And then we pass that WAV file through the play method that we looked at above. And that's pretty much it. So I do it once, as you saw at the start of this video, and then I switched to a different voice and played the same thing again. Um, yeah, and then you just run Python main.py and, and off you go. So that's how it works on the Mac OS. On Linux, it's a little bit different. So I'm going to jump to my other screen now. I've got a SSH session here into the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is actually running the Ubuntu OS rather than the Pi OS, but I think it would probably be the same, um, whatever you're running. But if you run the code I just showed you exactly as it is, you might see this error when you run main.py, um, port audio library not found. And that's because underneath the sound, sound device layer, there'll be libraries that are dependent on your operating system. 
Um, and the ones on Linux, you have to install a few extra things to get this working, but we can do that easily enough. So what you have to do is you have to do a sudo apt install on the port audio libraries. When you've done that, you then have to do a pip force reinstall on sound device. I found that when I did the sudo apt install, it didn't quite work at that point. I had to do a force reinstall on sound device. And I think the second time around sound device must find the libraries that it needs. And yeah, it started working after that. So make sure you do those two things. And that's pretty much it. Then you can just run it um, Python main.py like we did before. So what we might do is let R2 take us out. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please leave a like or a comment. Bye for now.